Hey YouTube, I have an exciting unboxing for you today. The first ever mass-produced magnetized clock. I got this as soon as I heard about it, so let's open it up. I have medium expectations for this. It is $12, currently, I think, on sale, it's on sale for $10, cubicle.com. All right, first we have, oh, we have a new pamphlet. This is pretty neat. Oops, that's upside down. I just watched their new video today on their different lubricants and the differences between them. I'm curious to try the mystic one with the aloe in it, but that's, that's pretty cool. I love the advertising. Nice. Anyhow, back to the clock. And then, oh, I also got a logo. I got their really cute cockatoo logo. This is from their Australia wildfire uh, donation uh, thing they did. Yeah, it's so freaking cute. I'm gonna put this on my main 3x3. Back to the clock. Anime girl packaging, interesting. Ooh, okay, I, I, I dropped the instructions which look like so. I love the design that they did for this. We're also used to that uh, stripe design looks like this with the ling out. But yeah, it's nice to switch it up for a change and have this kind of bubble type look to it. That's pretty cool. Okay, as for first turns, I like the pins a lot right on the box, that's nice, but... Okay, well, it isn't that great right off the bat. I'm gonna lube it up and do some breaking. But, um, yeah, let's just do a solve on this. That was terrible. DNF and 1555. Yeah. So lots of lockups. This is gonna need some work to it. Another thing about this that's really cool is if you look here, there's just screws so you can take off the plastic without having to pry it open like you did with the Lingao or the Bai Tai, which is my main right now, which they actually don't make anymore for the Bai Tais. Yeah, I really like how this one performs. I wonder if I can make it as good as this one. So taking the plastic cover off, we can see the magnets here. It looks really nice that it's on the inside and not the outside. And from here, it looks very, very similar to a laying out clock in the, like the casing. And you have these two screws right here. So I'm gonna take these off and show you what's inside. So here it is with the case off, and it looks very, very similar to the layout. Really the main difference being these springs look a lot nicer and like cleaner. The ones in the layout look, like they feel a little rusty. And these ones are just like shiny and like very new. And these dials, they, they feel and look just like laying out with the color. The only main difference being their arrow. The rings on the inside of the puzzle aren't actually magnets, they're just like little metal washers in which the magnets attract to, so there's not actually 16 magnets, but 8. Perhaps I can combine this clock using these pins in this case with the pieces from my already broken in by tie, and maybe that could do something. Here's what the cap pieces look like, in case you were wondering. Another difference between this and the Lingout is on the caps of the pins, they're rounded and more smooth, rather than just flat, which it, it feels nice on the fingertips. So now I'm going to spray with silicone spray all these gear pieces, while being careful not to get any on the bottom here. 
as well as these pins. So the silicone spray did help quite a bit, but it's still not that great. If we look at my current average of 12, it's a 9.59, which is, which is kind of bad for me. If we go to my regular clock session, uh, right now it's a 7.32, and my average of 100 is 6.29. So yeah, the biggest problem is the clicks is it takes a lot more effort. I found myself having to rotate the clocks twice like this instead of just one uh, rotation. So that makes my times a lot slower. It's not a great speed cube clock as of yet, but it is good for beginners as long as you lube it with silicone spray. That's all I gotta say about this clock and my first impressions on it. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to the next video. Goodbye.